Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another installment of The Locker Room. I am your host. You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Reggie. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and stick around to the end, man. You're not going to want to miss this episode. This is going to be a good one. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Kawhi Leonard continues to let Clipper fans down worldwide. I told you guys, man, the Clippers are Christmas Day champions, but unfortunately, the Los Angeles Clippers franchise and their fan base wants more than opening night banners, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I read a report on ESPN, and it was very, very interesting to me. It says that Clippers Kawhi Leonard and Paul George are to remain out Sunday due to injuries. Now, Ty Lue, the head coach, he doesn't think this is going to be a long-term situation for the Los Angeles Clippers. The Clippers want to be as cautious as possible with injuries so that they can have their two best players available for the postseason. Leonard missed all of last season after tearing his right ACL in game four against the Utah Jazz in 2021. So this is Ty Lue. He says, we're not the only team who's going through it. The guys are feeling better. They're progressing pretty well. And that's all we can worry about. We got to worry about Denver and the guys we got on the floor trying to get a win. Our guys are playing scrappy. They're playing hard. They're trying to hold the fort down. And it's tough right now, but it's just part of the league. Ladies and gentlemen, can we take a trip down memory lane? Let's go back to 2019. Now, what was the narrative, ladies and gentlemen? Kawhi Leonard was fresh off of a championship with the Toronto Raptors. So everybody, including people in national sports media, guys like Chris Broussard, they were saying that Kawhi Leonard is now the best player on the planet. But they left out one important detail. Had Kevin Durant played in the 2019 NBA Finals, the Golden State Warriors would have three-peated. Not cheering. I'm surprised by that, and and the players are telling him not to be doing that. No question. These Raptor fans have been wonderful, but to cheer for a player who gets injured. And the credit Serge Ibaka, and there's the play right away. He knew it. You will not see a better sight than we just witnessed. Unfortunately, what happened to Kevin Durant, to Kyle Lowry... So as you guys just saw, man, Kevin Durant, he came back, I believe, in game five of the 2019 NBA Finals. He missed the first four games. He came back game five and he ended up tearing his Achilles in that game. Klay Thompson ends up going down in game six and then Kawhi in Toronto and the baby dinosaurs, man, they were able to capture their first championship. But people tend to forget that if Kevin Durant would have been healthy, man, Kawhi Leonard never gets his second championship. And anybody with half a brain would know that. Now, fast forward to 2020 when Kawhi Leonard is on the Los Angeles Clippers. If you guys remember, the Clippers came into that season as the betting favorites to win the championship. And this is what happened in the bubble. Instead of being the hunter, you're yep. the hunted. Yep. Let me tell you what Kawhi Leonard did. Mm -hmm. As the best player in the world, Yep. He just blew a 3-1 lead, mm. and in all the games, he had a double-digit lead. Mm. If you're the best player on the planet, that cannot happen. Mm. Mm. Two-point skip. Can I interest you in two points mm. in the second half Ooh. on one for 11 shooting? Wow. And he was flailing away. He was crying. And well, before I go, before I, before I get this, I make, want to make sure I get this. Mm -hmm. Let's get it in here, Skip. Yep. One, two, three, Cancun. Mm. You remember how Paul George and Pat Bell was yacking at Dame Lillard? Oh, you going. You packing. Mm. You mean to tell me they're about to go into luxury tax? Mm. They gave up their future. 2022, 2024, 2026, 23, 25. You got swapped mm. to go one extra round. Mm. <laughs> to go one extra round. That's what it did. They can't even get to the Western Conference Finals. Nope. Because your guy. The guy that many said is the best player on the planet, gag. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very, very funny conversation to me because, like I said, I am on these YouTube streets and I see content creators. They really try to make an argument that Kawhi Leonard is better than LeBron James and it's completely and utterly laughable. Now, when you look at his stats this year, right? You've got to look at him and you've got to put context behind it because he hasn't played many games. But when you look at the numbers, ladies and gentlemen, who in their right mind with the injury history that this dude has would say, you know what? Give me Kawhi Leonard over LeBron James. Who in their right mind would say that? Nobody. Nobody in their right mind would take Kawhi Leonard over LeBron James. Nobody would. 
even at LeBron's big age, he's about to be 38 years old next month. I right now would take LeBron James over Kawhi Leonard. It's not even an argument. And the fact that people were really trying to make it an argument just a few years ago, like I said, the conversation has gotten a little bit quiet now because the Clippers haven't won anything. But just a few years ago, there were literally people out there saying Kawhi Leonard was better than LeBron James and is completely and utterly laughable. <laughs> it's laughable. Now, what I found to be very funny that first year that Kawhi Leonard went to the Clippers, the Los Angeles Lakers won the championship that year and nobody seems to want to give LeBron James his credit. Now, what's funny to me is that y'all say that it's a bubble ring, right? That's the knock on the Lakers 2020 championship. But wait a second. Wasn't Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers in the bubble that year? So let me get this straight. It's a bubble ring when LeBron wins, but if Kawhi would have won it, he would have been a three-time champion just like LeBron James. Right, but he didn't win it, so LeBron got a Mickey Mouse championship. Oh, okay, 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 now it all makes sense. Like I said, man, listen, this argument, this debate, Kawhi Leonard versus LeBron James, listen, it's done. It's over with. It was never a debate. Kawhi Leonard, for his career, averages 19 points per game. He's a two-time Finals MVP, but guess what? He's the most overrated superstar that the league has ever seen. The guy doesn't even have an MVP, okay? How can we put Kawhi Leonard and LeBron James in the same sentence when Kawhi Leonard has not won MVP? LeBron James is a four-time MVP, a four-time champion, and a four-time Finals MVP. Kawhi Leonard is not on his level. So can we please stop the BS at this point, ladies and gentlemen? Now, I want to get you guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Do you guys genuinely believe with a straight face that Kawhi Leonard is better than LeBron James. Let me know, man. This was another installment of The Locker Room. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Kawhi Leonard. That might be the biggest choke job we've ever seen in NBA history. I mean, it was that bad. It was that bad. We're talking about a two-time oh, right. MVP. We're talking about a two-time champion who Max Kellerman has bloviated about being the best in the world. And what happens? You're up 3-1 in the second round, not the conference finals, in the second round against Denver, Jamal Murray and Nikolai Jokic, not LeBron James. And in the second round, up 3-1, you blow a 3-1 lead. What do you do? You shoot 6-22 from the field. You shoot 1-11 in the second half. You didn't even get to the free throw line. Just an absolute positive choke job period oh it's just that simple and i gotta say this this hurts me get this hurts me because i love this brother i think he's one of the best people you could ever meet in the nba and i do think he's a star but paul george doesn't get taken off the hook either i mean his uh, performance was abysmal it was just as bad as Kawhi Leonard. When you're in a corner wide open behind the three-point line and you hit the side of the backboard, the side of the backboard, and you can't buy a basket, I can't let him off the hook. Yeah. What I say in the beginning of the year? What I say? Hey, we're going to the playoffs. Hey, check that goal off now, folks. So, yeah. Yeah. Check that goal off now. Bad boys. I told you he's going to the playoffs. Did nobody believe me? Yeah. Weak ass Clippers. Yeah. Beat they yeah. ass. Yeah. Out of here. Out of here.